am so happy to have him here once again amongst us to share his experiences. He is such a shy person. He is such a humble, uh, honest and you know, he says man, that he, he was a bit reluctant. He said, I have never taught in my life. I am not a historian. How will I speak to public? And I, I was only you know, requesting and trying to convince him that a person of your experience doesn't need to be uh, kind of bothered about these things. You have so much to tell, so much to share that in fact we don't want a historian. If the historian is there, the historian would be there like Professor Goswami in his own right as a historian. But you are an artist. You can, you can, you can speak about your paintings, you can speak about your experiences, you can speak about your techniques and he agreed. I am really, really thankful to you that in this winter, cold winter, you travelled all the way to come here and prepared everything and he's so overwhelmed by our reception, uh, which I'll share with you later. Thank you so much once again. I request uh, Mr. Sakti Barman to kindly come onto the stage and share his experiences with us. Thank you. You know, as Devan said, that I don't have any experience of talking in public. So, you must forgive me for my... Uh, way of speaking and uh, explaining things. But uh, I am here, so I have to speak. <laughs> so, so first, I thank Dhawan uh, 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 to invite me here. And, and he said that I was a little bit uh, uh, hesitant to not to come, but to speak because we paint and our painting speaks. But at the same time, I know that uh, what we have done, we have gone through certain experiences and uh, it's also not bad that uh, we express it in public and art is now become very important and people are very much interested to know about art and uh, so, I hope you will forgive me the way I speak or explain. If you have later on any questions, please ask me. I shall try to answer. So, in Chandigarh, uh, though this is the first time I have come to Chandigarh, but I have had already contact with Chandigarh. Uh, Dr. Randhava who was uh, uh, the president of IFEX, uh, All India uh, Fine Arts Society in Delhi. He bought one of my paintings when I had my show in, there in 1962. In 1962, I came to India from Paris and uh, I had my first show and it was very... Uh, difficult because at that time painting was not selling and uh, Dr. Randhava uh, liked my work and he bought one work for Chandigarh Museum. I, I sold in that uh, uh, after returning from Paris. Then again uh, I have been invited uh, to exhibit my work in 80s or late 70s, uh, uh, Mr. Jagmohan Chopra wished to organize some uh, uh, graphics exhibition. And uh, they have invited me and I was uh, very happy to, to send my work. And I think they have acquired also to one or two works at that time. So I had a contact. This is not the first time uh, that I am coming, but I have uh, had some uh, uh, some kind of relation here. And also, uh, when I went to Paris in 1956, I had the opportunity of meeting some young architect who uh, worked here to build up the uh, Chandigarh. You see, so uh, at that time we used to speak a lot. Uh, I was young and we used to speak uh, to make the world and destroy it and remake it. So <laughs> I used to criticize 
Le Corbusier, but I was uh, very happy to see today the way it is done, and it's a very clean city, and uh, it's uh, uh, really, it was uh, uh, nice to be here, and uh, I thank you again for this. Now, uh, I shall go for my uh, mm, mm, childhood, <laughs> but my, about my childhood, <laughs> I think it is already said, I was born in Calcutta, and uh, then uh, 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 I spent my childhood in, uh, in Bindakut, there is a small village in Bangladesh. And uh, uh, I, I still have impression that I, uh, that uh, place is, uh, I had never gone, I have left when I was seven, eight years old. But uh, still that place, that this had certain influence on me, uh, uh, naturally, uh, me means uh, my work, you see, uh, 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 without my work, uh, uh, without me, my work doesn't exist. So, uh, that place has a, a great influence because I had, uh, in our house, uh, we used to have Durga Puja, all kind of festivities used to take place in our house. And uh, I have seen my sisters, my cousins, uh, to decorate the, uh, uh, the courtyard. You see, we had a big house. And, uh, and uh, uh, so those memories of that time, uh, I think, are still, uh, still with me. Uh, uh, I'm consciously there, there also. Uh, Playing in my work, uh, directly or indirectly, uh, uh, because that uh, uh, those uh, mm, events I cannot uh, uh, shed out from my memory. You see, so and uh, mm, and then uh, naturally uh, boyhood that uh, I have started uh, the school. In the school, I used to draw, and uh, I used to get some award here and there in this competition for the children's competitions and uh, uh, I was always interested to draw and finally when I came I uh, completed my matriculation that I have before that I have uh, expressed my desire to go to Calcutta uh, because I had my studied schoolhood in the uh, in Divrugar, in Assam. And so uh, I wanted to go to Calcutta to the art college, which uh, for uh, for my father it was not a very easy job to accept because uh, he was more concerned how uh, his son will uh, uh, make a living. You see. Anyway, uh, seeing my. Uh, uh, my determination, he didn't oppose, he sent me and uh, I have started my art college there. So in art college, there are few memories uh, uh, that, uh, that, is, uh, 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 that stays uh, with you. You see, in art college, in the beginning when I have gone, they have given us some kind of uh, foliage to draw or copy and uh, and those copies also not that I was doing very well you see so it was very disappointing and uh, uh, I was rather uh, uh, I didn't know whether I should <laughs> what I'm doing here and uh, it was the first year and then one day I remember I went to see uh, one of our teacher, he was a historian, uh, Moninder Gupta, and uh, I asked him, he was, uh, I think he was the principal of uh, Sri Lanka uh, uh, Art College. So, so he saw, he said, what do you want? I said, well, please tell me what I have to do to, to, to be an artist because I, I can't even paint the, the foliage. And he said, oh, Michelangelo not, will not do anything 
anything better for you because you don't know anything. I said, really, I don't know anything. <laughs> but tell me what to do. Then he has taken, he, he was a little bit eccentric. So he has taken a paper and draw a pyramid. And he made few things here and there. Do you see? It is called pyramidical composition. So remember it. Go. So I have gone. <laughs> but that, that thing was nothing for him. But it was also maybe nothing for me at that time. But now, when I, when I see my work, uh, I see how important it was. Uh, uh, I see that uh, whatever I do, there is a kind of pyramid, it goes up, and there is a base in the, in the, uh, 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 the ground. You see, so, I, I, this is to say, I thought there is a student, because it is important for them to, uh, to, to know that uh, those small things, which is significant in the beginning, how important they are, I am sure that very world has played a, 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 a lot unconsciously, it, it stayed with me. And, mm, mm, this is uh, 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 one of the things. Then I had the experience. Uh, I had seen Gopal Ghosh, who was also our teacher. Gopal Ghosh, he was also very much eccentric, and Gopal Ghosh was uh, uh, was in the art college, always doing something, working, and all alone, roaming around. And uh, we, the students. We used to do sketches in the uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and we used to bring the work to show to the teachers. So one day I showed one of my work to Gopal Ghosh, and uh, he looked at it. He said, ha, ha, thik achse, thik achse. Good. <laughs> uh, then I said, Master Master, please tell me, if, can I do anything here? So he has taken the color and uh, brushes because he had everything and uh, it is uh, where he used to sit. So he started working and for me it was uh, it, it, it was like a magic because he was putting color the way we put color trembling and we don't know how to put you know we are student and uh, that was my second year and uh, and then he was putting color then he has changed the completely composition and everything then again he has changed it, three or four times he changed and came to a final stage, you see. And that also is stuck in my memory. And again, Vashanta Gangali, he is also in his own way very eccentric. He had his studies in, uh, in uh, London, Royal College. And he used to come uh, here ahead. And he used to come to the college with uh, a half pen, you know, and with a stick. And what very good painter. And uh, mm, mm, so once uh, uh, we were then in a higher classes, I think third or fourth year, then we wanted to have some nude model. So, uh, uh, so we asked, sir, we would like to have some models. But he, he didn't say anything. Finally, we went to Shonagachi, that is a, a place where uh, uh, the red light, uh, you know, where <laughs> prostitutes are there. So one of the boys, he, he threw, threw friends, he knew somebody, so we all went there. And we said how much we pay and all this. And the girl, the beautiful girl, she said, yes, yes, we'll come. And she's very flattered that she will be drawn and painted. But finally she didn't come <laughs> to get rid of us. She <laughs> said she will come and then we are come back. She never came. But anyway, Vasanta Babu was uh, very cynically said, you know, these boys, they can't draw a finger. They wanted to make a nantame. Nantame, you know, <laughs> langa lurki. <laughs> so 
because they wanted to make them new, you see. They can't paint the, draw the, uh, uh, the angle figure, you see. So, so this is another thing uh, that uh, uh, we, I remember about Boston Rowe, but he was a good teacher and he taught us how to paint, oil paint, how to handle it. And now, another thing I like to say uh, that uh, about the art college, during the art college, that, uh, uh, you know, how we are now about art. There is a big audience. We have uh, uh, we have many people are there to achieve our work, and they are also ready to pay the amount that we want to. But it was not the same at that time. So one day I remember with friends we went for sketching, you know, and. I don't know why, we were very fond of the places which are very dirty, which are busty, and we, are, we used to go always this kind of places. So one day, I don't know if anybody knows Calcutta, a, that is called uh, uh, Pasakas. And that area is a, it's a kind of busty village, so there we were sketching. It was the month of May, full of sun, it's hot. So we saw a mother uh, beating her son and came and said, Look, you are not studying. That will be your result. <laughs> you will be like them. <laughs> so so <laughs> that, that is your future. <laughs> so, so so we have gone through that, <laughs> and so uh, uh, so I wanted to share these things because these are these are the small stories, the small experiences. We all have different way that we, uh, people may not uh, know. You see. So well, after the art college, I wanted to uh, go to Paris. Now. Uh, during the art college, we naturally uh, came to know the story, I mean, the history of uh, Impressionist, the life of Van Gogh, and uh, Toulouse-Lautrec. We have seen the film of uh, Moulin Rouge of Toulouse-Lautrec at the Last for Life, we read. And uh, also, uh, uh, mm, mm, uh, Gaga's life. And they have impressed us and and uh, inspired us so much that uh, 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 all the students, all my friends, the only one thing they, uh, they wanted to do, go to Paris. And uh, I also wanted to go. Finally, I, I also again gone to my father. And uh, my father, along with my brothers, decided to send me. So they have financed me. I didn't wait for the uh, for the scholarship, and I had. Uh, they have supported me, and I had gone to Paris with uh, by boat, and uh, it was a, a nice experience to go by boat. And uh, so I came to Paris, and then gone to uh, uh, to London, and. Uh, there I have seen that uh, all the mm, beautiful museums, uh, National uh, Gallery, Tate, uh, Tate, uh, Tate Gallery, and uh, uh, Tate Gallery, Tate Museum, all of a sudden. <laughs> Tate, Tate Gallery, no? <laughs> now it is the new Tate, modern, uh, new one. Yeah. So, uh, is after that, I have come back to uh, come to Paris, and I got admitted because in Paris, uh, in the art college, there are uh, uh, several systems. So my, for my for me, that uh, I go to a professor, and uh, he looked at my dossier, uh, the work that I had, and 
uh, he has accepted me uh, as a free student. I can go and work there. And so for my wife, it was not like the same. She, she, she was also from the art college, but they had a different system. They had to pass through certain examinations, history, architecture, and all, all kind of things. So, so I got admitted and started working there. And it's also very, uh, you know, when you start things, uh, you, you have an impression that you will reach, uh, you become a Van Gogh immediately. But unfortunately, it doesn't happen, you see. And again, I have gone through certain depressions uh, in Paris. And Paris also, there are a few things happen because I, I, I didn't go by learn, after learning my French. So uh, I didn't know French, so it was very difficult to uh, uh, express myself. But anyway, it was uh, it was uh, uh, possible because in painting you do not have to speak so much. You see, we are not uh, uh, history uh, uh, historian or or uh, um, or scientific scientist uh, something you know or literature. So it was uh, fine without the language we can do our painting. But uh, uh, it, it was not so easy. In the first year, uh, uh, I was living in a small uh, a small room. Uh, it is in Boulevard des Italia. These are the, uh, the area uh, near Opera. Opera, I don't know, you might know Paris and uh, near Opera. And uh, there's a small room in the in the roof, and uh, maybe two one or two more in the square. You see, this that is the thing. And uh, I didn't have any uh, hot water or, or anything, but in winter, and that was the first winter. It was very difficult. But when uh, uh, there are, uh, I read. And also a friend said that, you know, Balzac wished to live in a place like that. Uh, so Balzac still lives so I can also survive. So I, I survived. Uh, uh, <laughs> but it was difficult to, to, uh, to bear the cold in the beginning, you see. But uh, uh, Van Gogh, Balzac, Gauga, their sufferings, they have pushed you to bear all those difficulties. Now, uh, uh, from there, the way I used to come to the art college is very interesting. The, I used to take uh, Boulevard de Boulevard and uh, no, Avenue Opera. A, a, anybody knows Paris here? Yes, Avenue de Opera. And from Avenue de Opera, I used to cross Louvre and cross the river and go to the art college. It's a very beautiful uh, uh, walk that I used to have every day in the morning. And I used to stop two places. One, uh, two places, two shops of reproductions. You know, this is also how things changes. Reproductions, it is to call brown. They used to make reproductions, um, uh, you know, quadrichromy. Uh, reproduction on paper and also on canvas. And, and then this reproduction spread out everywhere. And slowly, the, when I have started doing lithography, those reproduction has disappeared. And our lithography has replaced them, you see. All of a sudden, the artists, they got a huge market, huge audience for lithography. And people who cannot afford to buy the uh, canvases because they are, uh, they are a, a little expensive, they, they wish to buy uh, 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 lithography. And then those things has disappeared. Slowly I don't see them, you see. So uh, now lithography is not that disappeared because of uh, digital uh, repressions. <laughs> lithography is more or less stopped, you see. They are not so much in, uh, involved, 
you see the, so how things replace one thing to another and so in uh, in the art college uh, uh, so I was growing and there I met uh, uh, my my wife you see and uh, from there every day at a time to time I remember we went to see the graveyard of Oversuruas, the graveyard of uh, Van Gogh, uh, no, yes, Van Gogh, and the church that he has painted, and the, mm, the cafe where he died, the, the room where he died. And after many years, uh, it is written in that biography, I had an exhibition in that particular house. It was, it, I felt emotionally very moved, you see, being there, I, I remember I, came, I went there to visit it and gone to that graveyard and see the church and uh, again later on I have exhibited there. But it was quite, uh, uh, quite, uh, uh, you know, emotionally, it's, uh, 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 it was a nice experience to see that place, you see. And especially the church, the church which is a, you know, a strong church just uh, uh, sitting on the ground. And when you see the painting of Van Gogh, that is, everything is traveling, you see, as if, as if it will fall down, you see. There's a, as if there's a storm, uh, has shaken the church. Then you say that that storm, it was not the church had, it was in his, in him, you see, when he has painted. And this is why that church was, you know, you see, you have, you, you see that church. So, uh, uh, those things has uh, teach you. I mean, uh, uh, I was a student, so these things when I saw, you know, and they have uh, inspired you and uh, 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 and give you the the uh, 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 encouragement to to continue working. And uh, naturally, at that time, I was also uh, going to the galleries, museums are there, museums, and there are many exhibitions to take place. The, we have seen the exhibition of Modigliani, for one of the first exhibitions I saw, it was Modigliani. It's a, in a, it was semi-private and uh, n uh, national called uh, Gallery Charpentier. Uh, it is no more there. Uh, that gallery uh, is still there, but not Charpentier. Now there is a Sotheby's auction house, that, that place. And uh, the gentleman of that uh, gallery uh, helped me a lot. Uh, I shall come back to, to that uh, story uh, uh, to, to introduce me to some other galleries uh, uh, to, to, for my work. And during that time, I am continuing working. Working means painting, looking at the painting, painting myself, going to the galleries, seeing the exhibitions, going to the museums. Then we had gone to uh, uh, one of the first uh, 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 time that I had gone uh, with my wife, at that time we were not married, but we had gone to Italy together. And, uh, uh, you know, she's here, but let me tell you, at that time she helped me a lot to understand the Renaissance painting. I didn't have any idea. I knew a few names, like Michelangelo, like Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, like many others. But that was all. But the development of the Renaissance, how it has got, it has developed, how it has come to develop, then Baroque. These things, if I was not with her, maybe I would not have uh, uh, understood because she, she they, they, they uh, go and learn also the history. And Renaissance is very important for the, uh, uh, for the art student or artist. So, that visit to Italy 
is also very important for me because there I I saw the the, the how the painting or mural painting becomes monumental, you see, and the structure of that murals. I wanted to have it in my work, but I didn't have that much of experience. Uh, it was maybe after two or three years of my stay. You know, I wanted to, not that I want to jump, I want to <laughs> learn, but naturally one have to go through certain things. But, but uh, uh, that uh, uh, the result that you are having, you are not happy. You like to, <coughs> you like to do something that uh, that is not done. You see. So, uh, so there, when I saw the uh, 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 the mural painting, then I wanted to have them in my work, in my work, the structure. Now, how to have that? You see. So, uh, so one day, I, I have jumped a little bit, but I shall go back <laughs> a little bit. The, uh, one day, I was doing some sketches. In the evening, I was doing some sketches uh, with Chinese ink. And accidentally, the water fell down to my paper. You see. And it has, the, the ink has spread out. You see. So, it gave a little bit uh, structure of that uh, mural structure. So I say, well, it's, it's nice. Then naturally, I that was an accident, unconsciously, accidentally happened. Then I wanted to utilize that, and I utilized. It. See, I worked on that on paper, then with color, different stages, and. I have developed, I know how to use that technique in paper, but I didn't know how to use it in canvas, you see. So canvas is more monumental and then I tried once, this is the secret that we don't say people, but uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> so, one day I tried water and oil. Just I have taken water and put some oil there. It did, it, give, it gave some result, but it was not enough. Then I tried several other materials that we used to buy in the, uh, uh, the color shop. One day I got acrylic medium and then I mixed it with acrylic medium and oil color and it worked and it worked and then once you know the, the, the theory then you work and you develop it you see. So this is the way I have if you don't mind to say invented this technique. <laughs> it is. Uh, uh, this is my technique. You see, it is uh, uh, what I wanted to express in my work. I think this technique has helped me a lot. You see, so uh, uh, so these two things, this uh, 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 this uh, uh, mixture of color, this marveling, that uh, m m m the structure that I got it accidentally. And it came to this stage. But uh, my career, you know, first I didn't know how one make the living with art. I didn't have any idea, no experience. Even in Paris, uh, I've seen the students. They are, uh, they, some of them doing some odd work to live, to have some money. Some of them are getting some uh, some money from the family, as my wife used to get, and I used to get some money also. So from India, and and uh, then after second year of my work uh, stay, I have exhibited uh, my work 
in a salon called Salon de la Jeune Peinture. It's a, uh, of a salon is like an annual show of young painters, young painters. So from the art college, students, they are sending their work and they ask me, you, you also participate, you see. So I have participated and that very work, at that time I was very much influenced by Bonar. Bonar is one of my favorite painters. Uh, I don't know uh, why I, Bonar, from Bonar I used to have the sensibility of color, Indian, Persian color, at the same time very much French, you see. Uh, also uh, Matisse. So, so Bo, Bo, I did a painting which can remind Bonar's work and I uh, 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 the, uh, uh, that painting which I did and exhibited and it was show exhibited and it was sold to the city hall. They bought it and there I met, I mean I have been contacted by a gallery from London called Piccadilly Art Gallery and that is the first uh, contact with a professional gallery who show their work and sell and promote the artist and and money we get we live with that so it was it was rather uh, i was lucky because i have many other friends they didn't get that chance of being uh, noticed by that gallery uh, and uh, and that gallery has continued to show my work and maintain me few years uh, uh, financially and you know at that time we are making ourselves you see we are uh, working the change is coming our, with our uh, uh, experience that we have, we like to add something. So, in, in painting, also getting changed. So, slowly, I was not with him after some time. But uh, in the beginning, it was a great help and encouragement for me. Then I can, I could see that I can maintain myself with my work. So. It was it was uh, it was very important, and then uh, I came to Paris. Uh, I came to Paris, and in between I came to Paris where Dr. Randhava bought my work. It was 1962, and in fact, at that time I wanted to stay at home, but. Uh, uh, Dr. Randhava's work was not enough for me to survive for a long time, you see. It was all right for some time, but uh, uh, so finally I have decided to go back because uh, there I have few contact. It was not that uh, people were waiting uh, for my work, but uh, mm, mm, I have few contact which gave me some hope to go and I thought maybe I can uh, uh, work there. So I have gone back and then we got married and again I came back in 1964, uh, something like that. And then we have visited India and that visit was uh, uh, is very important, you see, because I was, uh, I was newly married and uh, taking her everywhere. So I was, we went to Konarok, Shachi, we went by bus, uh, all kind of. Uh, we didn't travel first class, you know, <laughs> and bus, uh, uh, so uh, rickshaw, and uh, so all kind of uh, local uh, transport. And but we were young and in love, so everything was possible. So we 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 uh, visited all those places. Puri, Konaro, and that has opened my eyes 
differently. <laughs> you know, in the first time I had gone there to learn uh, in Paris, I, I didn't have any idea what we will we'll learn. Learn. Learn how to paint. Now, uh, after staying there, after coming back, when I saw again my things, my things means uh, the things where I lived and I have left behind and gone to another culture, then I saw that uh, we have so many things, so many, uh, uh, our sculpture, our uh, mural paintings, so rich. So, uh, I was in love with that. Now I can see that I was reborn at, this is why I am speaking, I was reborn at that time. At that time I didn't have that feeling. I just, we just gone and see the things. But when I have gone back again to Paris, then I realized how slowly my painting has changed. My painting has become what it is today. I mean, uh, uh, today maybe I have some more experience of, you know, experience of my uh, age and work, uh, time I've spent to work. So these are there, but, um, uh, 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 but that visit has, has given me a new opening. Uh, I mean, uh, when I have gone back, subject has started changing. Previously, I used to work little like Matisse interior with strong color, still life, and like Bonner, like Chagall, and they were, they were, uh, uh, they were my masters, you see, they were my models. And slowly, they remain. I don't say that they have gone, but my Indian culture has been, has come. I don't know how it happened, you see. For instance, uh, I might, we will see in the slides that I have started doing uh, 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 dream of Maya, my own way, it's a dream of Maya. And uh, sometimes, I don't know whether it is there, sometimes uh, the uh, uh, Bodhibrika and head of the uh, Jesus Christ, you see. So these are the things slowly started changing. It's not that I wanted to do this for certain purpose. It is, naturally it came. And uh, uh, so that, this is why that, uh, 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 that, that period of time I gave, uh, uh, that visit uh, is very important for me. And uh, 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 then, then naturally uh, uh, the work, work means the uh, career, as we say, that uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the career of an artist, the way it has to take place, uh, it has started. I have many galleries has taken interest on in my work and it was Italian gallery, sometimes it was the German gallery, it was sometimes American gallery and then French gallery, uh, 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 galleries from uh, from uh, Japan. So the the the, the things has started traveling, and in France regularly I was exhibiting in uh, uh, Grand Palais, which is the meant for the exhibitions, uh, and the Museum of Modern Art, and so like that things has developed, and. Uh, like this, I have become what I have become. <laughs> I, I thought he's made it uh, chronologically, but it is not. You see, this is the work of uh, uh, 70s. Already, I have spent, uh, uh, I, I had been there in 56, and it is 70s. So, there is a period of uh, surrealist, uh, you know, after certain time, certain uh, period of uh, uh, 
Bonar, Matis, then uh, the surrealist has also, uh, I have flattered also with the surrealist, uh, surrealism. So this is one of those period of work and uh, where that uh, reflection in the mirror and uh, uh, all these uh, things which uh, I don't know how it goes to you, how it, uh, it has been seen by you, but uh, uh, so here it is. So this is uh, the work which I have done after my visit to Italy where I had gone to Venice. So this is uh, uh, around 57, 58, and uh, this is the painting which done in my studio, but uh, I made plenty of sketches and watercolor on the spot and this is one of them. And this is uh, Piccadilly Gallery. I had a great success with uh, this series of work, especially I have done few buildings of, with some gondole uh, with uh, mm, uh, color, red color, red color everywhere. Even apart from few white left and everything is red. So those works were sold to throw, throw Piccadilly Gallery to America. So I, I was telling you that uh, uh, dream of Maya, that is Shatavar, uh, 64, that is around the time that I had, uh, I came and gone back to Paris, you see. So here, there, you know, the beginning, we don't know how to, we don't have our own personality <laughs> so much. So I can see uh, the, you know, if I do it today, that figure will not shown like that because there, uh, that influence of that, uh, that, uh, um, uh, that moral things that I've saw maybe in Puri or something like that, that those, those. And they're just the way they were, you see. Today I, I might put some more technical and uh, techniques and also my drawings will be different. And Vadishatabha and uh, that. Is, that is the beginning of my return from India. Uh, this is also at that time, this is a, 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 a couple, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a large work. And this is, uh, at that time, uh, there was a painter called uh, Du Buffet. Du Buffet, he was uh, more like uh, raw, uh, raw, uh, raw paintings, he used to call it raw paintings. It means uh, uh, without any sophistication, just what he see. And uh, I was also very much inspired and influenced by him at certain moment of time. And this is the result of that uh, 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 that uh, period is that, that painter I used to see in the age uh, in the 67 you see around that time 60 that is the period that I have started this kind, this technique and this <coughs> subject this is also circus uh, the technique of uh, present technique again same uh, and now I can see I had a great influence of Picasso in this work. This is something, uh, 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 the period of the mirror, that uh, uh, the mirror, the first one that I showed, this is the same time, same time. It's interesting to see how things changes, you know. Uh, 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 this is also nearly the same period of, uh, uh, same period it is done. Uh, these are that uh, you know everything uh, from my view everything is experienced either uh, emotionally or uh, <laughs> visually once with a friend I have changed I have given him a lithography and he has given me that uh, that puppet uh, pupe mm -hmm. the doll doll and 
this doll, I have cut the, I mean, I, I have done only the head, you see, but it, it is fully, uh, it, is, it was a full, uh, uh, full doll. I say it was because now my granddaughter, I don't know what she has done, it is no more in my house. Now, uh, uh, this doll, uh, uh, th that doll, I have used it in a in peculiar, uh, uh, unreal situation. But uh, at the same time, I painted that the Greek, uh, Greek had this uh, doll and uh, this, uh, 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 the man with the mask, and that is, I, in my head, it was uh, the Pinocchio, that uh, Italian story of the uh, uh, big nose. Whenever he lies, he is to have big nose, you see. Now, it also gave, uh, it can also give some indication of some uh, uh, phallic, you know, uh, 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 image. The sa same, same doll, same doll, and I, I always try to, from the real, I always try to create a kind of uh, a situation where uh, we don't know wh what it is and uh, our uh, imagination and thinking goes around, around it. So this is, I think, uh, this is one of the work of that period, the same thing. And uh, I remember that uh, 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 that is the village uh, we can see from my wife's house. That uh, that church, that church, we can see there. And I remember I have uh, taken this flower from a from the field, the sunflower, and that I have painted it. I put the flower is uh, I have seen the flower and it was in front of me, and the rest has come from my from my mm, um, from my head, <laughs> you, know, from, you know, it came like that. that uh, I just let myself go, and it's a it's a it's a nice thing that uh, at that time we could do that. Now I I don't do it anymore. I I have become more. Uh, mm, I put more reasons. You see, uh, anyway, this is this is life. This is the later period. Uh, this very often uh, friends used to tell me, "Why you paint?" I, I I did several news with a blue color, uh, and uh, mm, they asked me, "Why why why you do uh, the blue color?" You see, so. Uh, in fact, I, I don't know. I, I painted blue color. Finally, I, you know, by hearing this, I one day I was questioning myself why. Then I realized, you know, we, our God Krishna or uh, uh, Kali, they are all blue. So blue color is not uh, a, a human being in blue is not a very uh, strange for us. So. Uh, I think that has played, uh, uh, must have uh, played on me to have painted the uh, uh, woman or men I have not done, only, only ladies, you see. <laughs> so, so uh, apart from Krishna, Krishna I have done once or twice. Uh, uh, <coughs> so, uh, this, is the, this is the result. And th those things, uh, this, uh, and the other things, they are all, uh, th there is no, no, it's a question of feeling. You, you, we don't know why, why I have done, people are coming from the shell. I think it can be also the birth of Venice, Venus, and uh, there is circus man and flower. And uh, I, 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 I was very fond of Jerome Bosch at that time. And uh, so, uh, from distance, he is not absent here, you see. So, these are all uh, 
the uh, habit, the same period, nearly the same period of war, the the statues coming from from uh, the long uh, distance and uh, all these forms. Uh, uh, to to tell you the truth, some of the paintings which were sold, I bought them because uh, at that time I was uh, working with Italy and then uh, in France, and uh, I I had to sell nearly everything because to 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 live. But it was good that I was selling. But uh, mm, so I didn't have any work of that time with me. So some of the work I have bought from the auction house. So I paid much more. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of the Noah's Ark which I have with me with the, in my Paris house. And uh, so uh, and this is a large work, a large work. Uh, so Noah's Ark uh, is, is a, uh, I enjoy doing Noah's Ark because I can uh, paint um, all kind of animals and compose them in a different way. At the same time, it's a, uh, it's a legends of hope. You know, the, these people, this, uh, uh, they are survived from the floods and uh, so this story of hope is always, uh, and I am a hopeful man, and I think uh, what I do is it it uh, it gives an impression of hope. Uh, apart from this hopeful arc, this is a circus. This is one I bought. You see, it is interesting to see that uh, mm, a series of painting uh, this period was bought by. Uh, a collector from Switzerland and luckily they bought and uh, I could continue painting and uh, suddenly uh, when they saw the painting our work has uh, reached certain uh, amount of uh, money so they have put them all for sale so this is one of them and they have some others which is scattered now now here and there this is uh, 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 this is uh, i thought of orphe orphe of greek legends that uh, playing the uh, uh, the lead musical uh, instrument with his wife and the birds and birds in a, in a kind of palace, in a kind of cage, which is, looks like a house. This I have done after reading a poem of Charles Baudelaire, a Elevation, that everything, he, he, he uh, heard the music of Wagner, uh, and after hearing that music, he composed a poem, the elevation, how he has, as if he has going in the air. So, after reading his poem, I have painted this. As if they are also lifting to the air. And many of the, uh, here especially, the man who is, uh, uh, who had a, with a shell on his head, I painted many, sh many, uh, painting uh, with shell on on the head of somebody. You see, started. I've started with the putting it on my son's head, and then I have sta I've I've done many. So this is the uh, uh, a photograph of my brother, and then I have composed because I like that uh, uh, that uh, pose that he had. It's a Punjabi just uh, hearing something. So I, I took that and composed the whole other things uh, uh, with uh, myself, you know. This is three graces. No, not three, well, it's three graces, but judgment of Paris. 
the angel, the idol and the moose. Yes, this is also Charles Baudelaire's uh, poem, you see. Uh, and uh, in fact, this is uh, uh, the judgment of Paris. You know the story of judgment. Here, uh, I think it's, you can see some kind of change is happening. Uh, uh, so, here, this is uh, uh, again uh, uh, this uh, uh, Adam and Eve with uh, uh, the uh, boy holding birds and the beauty and the beast. These are the, uh, all the stories together and man, modern man and the ancient, this uh, uh, I, I'm, 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 I have an impression that uh, the legends that uh, I am painting, they are not old in a sense, they are living with us. So it is they are there of today. I mean, these uh, uh, deities, Indian deities, we are worshipping, we are, uh, 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 and so they are, they are, they are with us. So, uh, so having with a man with tie, I feel, I think it is natural. So in natural way I have put them all together. And again mirror is there. Mirror I have painted several mirror in several situations. Uh, you know, you can see that again our deities is there. A man, he's a friend, I made a sketch out of him. And I have uh, uh, made a sketch of that uh, girl who is sing, uh, swinging is uh, the niece of my wife. So uh, I, I made sketches, plenty of sketches, who who helped me to compose my work uh, uh, because they 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 the other things they I do uh, uh, I do I don't know how I do but I I I, I compose but certain basic things. I always have some sketches with me. This gentleman, he came, he is a friend of mine. I have asked him to pose and he did and I had a, uh, I had a, a sketch and uh, uh, that uh, uh, swinging, uh, 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 the girl swinging also is that I had a sketch for that. And those things from my, from my forehead is another mirror, the lovers. And uh, I had a sketch of that uh, uh, boy. He is the husband of my wife's uh, niece, uh, ex-husband. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so this uh, the lovers, and as if he's uh, reading, you know, it's a garden. Again, another uh, 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 Noah's Ark. Though it is not interesting, but still, it's, it's gifted to my grandson. This is. Uh, Painter painting the Adam and Eve, and uh, so as if they are uh, uh, posing for me, you know. Uh, and this this uh, man who is uh, who is uh, uh, on the string, he is uh, that boy who was reading. You see that uh, I had a sketch also, and for me I use photographs. There, there, my my daughter and my grandson, and I had a photograph. And so I, I always, you know, when my grandson was born, all of a sudden, all my paintings were uh, he was present. You know, without him, as if I cannot paint. You see, so he was here. I may not have painted my daughter, but the moment he is here, so and. I composed in such way that it, it goes well, you see. And when I said in the beginning that uh, uh, the Monindra Babu, that art college, that pyramidical, even here, though it is straight lines are here, but still if you go, we can see that as if they are going up like that, you see. You know, it is not that pyramid, is. Uh, it has to be like the pyramid of Egypt, but uh, it has that feeling of going up. Well, I, I have a feeling like that. This is three graces. I am always fascinated to, to, 
to see the movement of the uh, of the figures you see they are not running but they are moving uh, the one is standing but still as if there is a kind of movement and this uh, uh, I don't do so much now previously I used to do plenty of animals the, when it is it was painted so it was uh, all these animals are, are there but you don't know why you do something and why you are not doing anymore it is uh, uh, a question we don't know so we I don't have any I see that I don't have any kind of uh, animals presence in my work this is also a circus that those two uh, as I said, I always I try to put my people whom I know, they are the, my uh, 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 grand niece and grand nephew, you see, they, they, in a birthday party they had kind of head and I have, into, I have put them in my composition. I had a, a commission of a very large work, uh, uh, the gentleman is a Jaina and uh, he wanted me to paint a Mahavira. So, uh, this is the Mahavira I have painted. And uh, he gave me, I asked him to give me some document, uh, but those documents didn't work because, uh, you know, I had, uh, uh, I have seen one work, one exhibition of Jain, Jain, paint, Jain painting in uh, uh, in Los Angeles and uh, I had a catalog so I have taken one uh, one statue of Mahavira which I have painted here and the rest you know that uh, uh, man of today and also deities of uh, 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 of today and created so, so long ago you see so uh, they are here and that lady uh, and she is flying to uh, pay the uh, the flower to to Mahavira. You know, sometimes uh, uh, things happen. Uh, subjects, you see, I had a photograph of, uh, of my daughter. She's my daughter and my grandson. That photograph was in front of one of my painting. Painting was that, that you see the, uh, the, the, those, those subject uh, flying and uh, uh, on the air and two, they are not flying but still there. That was a painting but I have taken out the painting. You see, I, I thought it's better you don't put the painting, you take out the painting and do the main, main subject and let them go around, you see. So, uh, this is the way I have done that and we always have that feeling of uh, mosaic or uh, uh, mural uh, structure or tapestry, whatever it is. This is, uh, uh, one can recognize who had gone to Paris, uh, the Momart is a uh, 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 is a sacred is very uh, uh, a place of lovers, you see, and there are so many people get together. You know, it's a it's a, it's a place of uh, uh, communication. So there are Americans, Africans. Now Africans they are selling the African toys and the African statues, and Indians, so, so many things. So. I, I, I thought it would be nice that uh, uh, around that lovers, uh, a Frenchman with pigeon, with a, with, a, with a bird, an Indian musician, and uh, it can be Indian, it can be anything, that uh, a gentleman who is running, and uh, one mythological, Greek mythological statue there, you see. So, uh, I, I wanted to put everything uh, to to create some kind of uh, uh, mystery 
to travel people you see <laughs> so, so they, 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 one, one day uh, it was in an exhibition here in, in Calcutta well not only Calcutta Delhi and Bombay then one boy in Calcutta a friend of mine says why you have put up this uh, this uh, sadhu playing, uh, playing harmonium in Momart I said you know you are there you are also there so you could have easily played harmonium there too you see so I thought it would be nice to have an Indian and another painting I did of Momart that uh, that uh, uh, Shiva and Parvati <laughs> going through uh, 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 flying you see flying to the uh, Momar uh, it might <laughs> we might have some reproduction of that painting this is uh, again two legends uh, Idol Immortal is uh, uh, our uh, uh, I combine these two myth, the Durga and uh, and uh, now you know sometimes I I don't the unconscious also work but uh, very often I said I should like to do like this you see so uh, these two um, two um, 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 legions of hope I wanted to put in one one place because I think I am a product of two culture you see uh, the uh, Indian I don't think I I have forgotten my Indian uh, uh, culture and uh, and by the way I'm still Indian by passport you see my passport is still Indian and uh, uh, and here also, I used the sketches that I did from the uh, from the models, like the the lady who is reading. She's uh, I have taken one these sketches uh, uh, of my wife in Jodhpur. You see, I remember the place also. I I did the sketches, and I used that here uh, as uh, Sharshati, and th that is Kartikeya. And that is Ganesha. It is he's easily recognizable. Here, the Dr. Banerjee uh, reading reading the stories of Krishna. Dr. Banerjee, a friend of ours, he is also present in this painting. Dr. Banerjee, I made a sketch, and that girl sitting in front of him, that was a, a young girl whom I have. Uh, made the sketch in the sewage of Spanish uh, uh, coast called Daimos, you see, and uh, so I wanted to give this uh, uh, this uh, opposition of uh, like, like Dr. Faust uh, fell in love with a young young girl. So the young girl I put intentionally in front of him, and Krishna, the great lover, and. He is reading the stories of Krishna to his lover. This is also a commission work. Uh, it is, uh, well, everything starts from here and it is, I think it is somewhere in, uh, oh, not Los Angeles, another one. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, somewhere there. And uh, so uh, they wanted to have a painting glimpse of heaven, you see. So, here I didn't put so much of God and goddesses. I think uh, we are the product of goddess, goddesses, so I, I painted all human. This is the same painting here. I was telling to, uh, 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 to Manna that, uh, Devan, that all these figures that you see, I have made sketches of them. They are all from life. That is Dr. Banerjee, that, the, the, the one the, uh, uh, there, I made a sketch in Egypt in the, uh, on the, uh, in the uh, ship, in the, sea, uh, in the ship, no, in the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Those two figures are done on the sea, sea beach in Daimus, called the, uh, that place called Daimus is Spain. And this fat lady 
he, she was just in front of me. I made several sketches of her. Her husband is also very, very, you know, of, of certain, certain, uh, certain weight, you see. And they are all done from the sketchbook, you see. And uh, now you see the result of all those uh, sketches. Here, triptych I made uh, uh, with uh, the pedestal. Uh, that is uh, uh, Durga, uh, naturally we can see. And uh, that is uh, uh, Adam and Eve. And that is the flight of, uh, of uh, yes, the small Jesus, of, uh, you know, with the, who fled to Egypt, yes. And a small Krishna. I have made another one with uh, uh, Durga and uh, Noazar. This is a French village, and in French village you see these kind of things very often. You may not see that uh, figure uh, playing. It's a kind of Narada who goes from one place to another. And uh, the circus the kind of things you see in the French village. This, uh, you, you might recognize the, uh, the painting of Monet, uh, Manet. Uh, that is the uh, uh, Dejeuner's Lab, a picnic under the tree. These uh, three figures and that lady on that. I wanted to do one painting, the same uh, subject with uh, Shahajan and Mamataj and with the people of now in front of Taj Mahal. So this is the result of my uh, my effort. This is again the Shadu playing, uh, singing in a French village, yes. That is a, that is, it is a different village. I had a photograph. I, I, I have composed different things, you know, violence, love, uh, their violence and the divinity, you know, all kind of things and uh, this man can evoke some kind of peace. Not any, uh, any kind of particular story that you can make, but it can, uh, uh, it, it is, uh, we can go uh, around. Uh, I, had, I had been, you know, the experience, visual experience is, uh, is work a lot. I had gone to uh, uh, South Africa. After visiting South Africa, I made this painting. And I was surprised to see that all of a sudden, I don't know why, I felt a kind of necessity to put a giraffe there. That is a, that house is my son's house, that, that, the, in the left hand side. And this boy and uh, this man is my son and my grandson and my daughter is running. So all this I have composed, then all of a sudden I have put up a kind of uh, giraffe just after visiting the South Africa. I don't think I, I would have made it if I would not have got there, you see. So this is, this is something uh, happened. And this is naturally you can, uh, you know, our Shiva and Parvati. Though I have uh, the hunters, uh, but uh, this painting I did, uh, I heard that so many violence was going on in India. And I have this photograph of these uh, two men, uh, you know, with God. Uh, uh, and that has given me the idea to paint this one. This is the uh, 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 the, 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 the modern time and, and, uh, uh, and our ever uh, uh, willing to go, hope to go to the sun and though we, no moon, though we have gone to the moon, but we, are, we still like to go, you see. So this is one of those paintings. That's me, my grandson, and my grandniece, 
and uh, that is uh, I composed it with that. That is uh, I had a uh, photograph, and uh, with that I have composed that uh, uh, painting. And that is you might have a feeling of uh, I have done it in in the uh, in a in the, in the village in the, in our village house. You see, so. It, it is, uh, uh, it gives, it might give you impression of that because when you, wherever you do, wherever you work, that place has certain uh, influence, indirect influence at that time. Uh, this is uh, uh, calm beauty. Uh, in fact, I saw a painting of Ang, Angres in English, Angres, Ang, he has copied the Venus of Titian. And I wanted to make another Titian in my way, one painting of Titian, a copy, because I said that if Angres, Angre can do that, I can also do it. Uh, there is, uh, I, I might, I, I, I'm certainly learned plenty of things. But finally, I, I have not done that. I have uh, uh, taken a, a sketch of mine for models, and made this big nude and the rest I have composed the way it come to my head. So it is my wife and my grandson. Now this is very recent. I had a photograph. I was dancing in front of a, uh, of a temple with a friend. So I, I, <laughs> I have taken out the temple. I have painted in front of my lover. This is the comedian, lonely poet. These are re very recent work. Well, we, uh, seven, uh, well, it is recent. See, Ganaputi playing the flute. And my son has grown up. My grandson has grown up. You see. He's, uh, he's the model. This is uh, we have seen one uh, reproduction of that there. And that uh, flutist is my son. Here also I, I wanted to combine two cultures. You see that uh, mythology of, uh, uh, of uh, Krishna and here the pen, who is also a musician, you see. I could have put a, another flute in, in his hand, but uh, I'm not done, maybe next time. This is also recent work, uh, the artist uh, painting. This is also one of those paintings that I did, uh, 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 love and violence, that, uh, you know, what, uh, what is going on in, the, uh, in, in Iraq and uh, Afghanistan. And so, but at the same time, people are... Uh, 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 happily living, making love, having children, and uh, at the same time they are dying. You see. So we cannot help. Sometimes it it uh, it forces you to do something, and you do. This is uh, now and then, then and now. You see, uh, with the uh, with the gun and our Shivaji and uh, so here also this uh, one can see that uh, pyramidical the way it is going up you see, that composition again to Monindra Babu uh, Beauty and the Beast in fact I wanted to put it uh, uh, Tsunami because at that time uh, Tsunami has taken place you know it was uh, 2007, I think it was sometime like there, there or a little bit earlier, tsunami was there. So, uh, you know, always I was thinking, so many people died, they were sleeping and uh, and all of a sudden the the, the tsunami came and take them <laughs> to the where, we don't know. And uh, so that was the result of that mental situation of that time. But uh, this lady is so beautifully 
uh, and uh, reluctantly slipping, no worries. See. This is again the Durga uh, and it's a recent work and uh, the, all the things uh, going on around uh, the world. Uh, this has a story. I hope here nobody will come and uh, say something uh, strong to me because I am quite nice with you. This is, <laughs> this, this painting, I had to take it out from an exhibition because when I painted, I, I, I have painted. I didn't have any kind of idea. I wanted to, I made a lady uh, uh, looking up and then I wanted to put some kind of animal. So automatically the shape of uh, uh, our Hunuman came in my mind, I have put up. And those things doesn't have any relation. That can be, uh, people are happily dancing there is a love and there also uh, uh, in a way uh, uh, swinging or in a village, somebody in the village. And in my exhibition in Delhi, they have asked me to take it out because uh, I might have some problem. It evoked Hanuman with Sita. I said, well, I don't think even if it was there, there is nothing wrong. Sita is not, uh, uh, though she is not, uh, um, uh, <laughs> she is she's dressed and she is oh, Europeanly dressed, uh, we can also think that Sita is not only Indian, it can be, you can put her anywhere. But anyway, I have to take it out, I have taken it out. But uh, finally, uh, somebody has taken it and hanging them, hanging it to their house. Again, the Devi. And those, those, uh, 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 those figures that you see, uh, those figures, they are all, uh, 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 all sketched in uh, Paris, uh, in the station. While I was going to London, Aerostar, and uh, that is, the station is a very nice place to make sketches because people come and they wait for the train or bus, uh, uh, no, plane, and so I made those sketches. And uh, very often I use those sketches in in my composition. So here it is those sketches been. This is again the circus. Uh, so. Uh, uh, you know, there are moment you do something and you don't do also something uh, certain moment. So at that time in the watercolor, again I used to make uh, precise drawings. So it is you can see that on that empty that mother and child. This is the starting of my technique. These watercolors. Again, you can see those uh, figures uh, drawn after you know. So these are all uh, uh, superposed several times, you know, uh, to create this uh, effect of uh, old paper or uh, uh, or uh, like a wall. It has gone through several stages, like Gopal Babu. The again artist painting. This I did first before doing the other paint oil painting. This is the watercolor.
this is the uh, after my visit to the uh, to Africa, uh, South Africa, South Africa. I, I have made a sketch of this lady, this lady, who is dancing. I hope it was all right. <laughs> I didn't bore you so much. <laughs> but uh, everything has a beginning. So this is the beginning of my own life. I may not be able to paint so many, so I shall go on talking. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Shakti Barmanji. So hesitant to speak. And then he's able to you know, make those so many different kinds of cultures, mythology, and contemporary life coexist together and many of the like you would hardly see somebody riding a, a, a peacock or and uh, there's a huge figure riding an elephant or Krishna along with some other uh, uh, mythological figures from the western and the European world and all those characters which seem to be kind of at cross you know, roads with each other they seem to so easily coexist with each other in his paintings which, which, which makes it so much uh, you know, Ajanta, Elora, Konark, or miniature painting and day to day life, his own characters, his own self, his uh, you know, relatives, his friends, and the place he's been to. And how an artist can actually really uh, you know, make us uh, one with the entire universe, uh, so to speak. Thank you so much once again, Thank you. Thank Shakti Barmanji. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I always take advantage of Professor Goswami and without, I always kind of surprise him. Uh, I would still request him to share uh, a few words uh, if he can. And before he comes, I would share with you that on 4th of February, we'll have his lecture and slideshow in this very auditorium. It's not the easiest thing in the world to be speaking after a great master has spoken or presented his work. But I'm taking back a lot from this evening. What Shakti Burman rather hesitatingly said, he's not much of a speaker, I thought he was extremely eloquent. Extremely eloquent. Eloquence does not consist necessarily of, you know, moving at a fast pace, I mean, through phrase after phrase or formulation after formulation. But it is the ability to communicate what is inside of you in this fashion. And I found that very moving. There's an artlessness about him. There is an utter honesty with which he spoke, which I find very, very impressive. I'm not here to give a certificate or a testimonial to Shakti Burma. I'm only telling you, sharing with you what I'm taking back from this particular evening. You know, the great Ghalib had a wonderful ghazal which begins like this. I will not burden you with all of it. But the way he has seen the world unfold itself in front of his eyes. The way he sees characters play out their own roles in life and so on. The way he places them in this niche of his mind or this corner of his memory and so on is quite extraordinary. Ghalib said, Bazicha et fal hai dunia mere aage. Or hota hai shabo ruz tamasha mere aage. What is this world? This is like a children's playground, so to speak, in front of me. And I see this happen day after day after day. Hota hai shabo ruz tamasha mere aage. But Shakti Barman has seen the world of his own experience, of his own memory, 
It's a little like that. You know, I'm sure you have noticed how the clown, the people of the circus, the Dennis, let's say the inhabitants of the circus world, occur again and again and again in his work. There is a comment upon life, there is an understanding of life, but also a comment upon life through the eyes of these people who pretend as if they are looking at life with a eye, but whose experience of life is so deep, so extraordinarily deep, that they are observing, casting a glance in this direction and that direction, appearing to be fooling around, but really the utter seriousness in their hearts and in their minds. And that I find very, very impressive. Very impressive and very innovative. I mean, he has come from a world where he's not only seen but perhaps known people like Modigliani and Picasso and Magritte and not Angre, Angre was much older of course, <laughs> um, a long time ago. But he's lived through these particular experiences of living with these people or talking to them or seeing their work at first hand. But he also has taken so much from his own memories of India and own experience of India when he traveled with his wife through, uh, through the length and breadth of India. Now one can see Mahabali Puram sort of appear now, one can see uh, Durga Puja sort of appearing at another moment and so on. So th all these things are grist to the mill of an artist. And that is what makes it so wonderful, so extraordinarily absorbing and effective. The artlessness, the honesty, the sheer range of experience and his ability to comment without caustic, being caustic upon life and so on is a unique talent. May I say I'm very grateful that I got the opportunity to hear him, to see his work. In this evening we have had two different worlds that we have seen. There is the Balgo exhibition next door which is a world of dreams and dreams in the sense we talk about time which is deep time, cyclical time, linear time, dream time and that exhibition really leads you into the dream time of an ancient people. I was speaking to one young journalist here and I said if you look at the Australian High Commission's the Australian government's logo. There is an ostrich on one side and there is a kangaroo on the other. And this art of the Balgo is older than the ostrich and the kangaroo, but as fresh and as recent as the kind of light under which we are seeing it. That is one kind of dreaming. The other kind of dreaming is of Shakti Barman, in which he leads us into a floating world where everything else appears to be ordinary, really ordinary, because you are up at that particular height from which you see, you forgive, you notice, but you also forgive. And that, as I said, is a rare talent. Thank you very much, Shaktida, for being here. Uh, I'm so thankful if I, I think I'll be kind of uh, not doing justice to my friend because of whom I met him. Uh, first of all, first in Paris, uh, some of my French friends would organize my show, again at a place which is very historical called Galerie Batu Lavoie. And uh, it is uh, a, a place where Picasso used to have a studio. And that is a very important historical place where Picasso, uh, Jean Green, uh, Modigliani used to come, Brack used to come, Marx Jacob, and they used to live and work together. And that is the place where it was a battle lava, where the pe uh, people used to come to wash their clothes. You see, at that time, uh, <laughs> not very long ago, even the village where we had a house, uh, I have said it was working it was working. People used to come to that place. If there was a fountain, water used to be there, and they used to wash 
their clothes. Now they are all closed because they have everybody has to have uh, uh, running water and everything. So previously that place was like that and it was in Momart. Yes. Momart and that was the place where all the impressionists, most of the impressionists used to live. And the Rula Peak, which you take to go to the Place de la Terre, there Venga used to stay. See? Okay. And uh, so whenever you go there, you, you are going to the history. You see, it, it is always moving uh, to think that these people live there where, whose work we admire and uh, who inspired you. You know, it's, uh, and uh, especially where you have exhibited, it was, uh, uh, <laughs> it was a fantastic place. Mm -hmm.